relationship building because of where women had come to because of managing things and families managing things in community building that trust over years women were much used to more active listening to uh, attention to dynamics and body language to interpreting between parties to facilitate dialogue you wouldn't believe the number of times when we went into um, uh, dial dialogue with another party who told us what they had just been told by a previous party and we had already talked to that party and we had to go back and said, I think they must heard you, go again. <laughs> those kinds of skills that actually women bring because those are the kinds of skills. Well, so the adoption of a problem solving approach, bringing practical ideas and solutions, prepared to explore all options and new ideas uh, versus uh, the old positional bargaining and preserving set positions. Uh, it's not rocket science, and boy, did we blow it apart that there was some mystique about being involved in politics. It was very much about on-the-job learning, including coping with the unknown and unpredictable, and learning how to deal with opposition and resistance. How to be inclusive, wanting people to include it, but actually saying, actually, we're not going to take that level of opposition and resistance, and being able to actually be challenging as well and um, trying to, uh, obviously some talks have to happen in, in, in confidentiality, but actually as far as possible, creating as much of an outreach and a connection with people and, and the process uh, as, as possible. So what was uh, the Women's Coalition model of negotiation that we can actually learn? It's about assuming good faith, honesty and integrity, building trust, confidence and relationships, uh, uh, listening actively, to verbal and non-verbal, dealing with opposition and resistance, leading change in behaviour patterns, coping with, and the change in behaviour patterns was, was interesting because often that was quite public as well as in the talks on, and on television. And I can tell you for a fact, when the public saw the behaviour to the Women's Coalition, once Sinn Féin and the SDLP had left, had left the, the political forum publicly, the impact on the political parties behaving in that way was so strong because it was women who were seen as being attacked that in fact they began to lose some support and it actually had a moderating Im impact on their behaviour, which I think is another thing that's often uh, overlooked. Uh, it was about thinking creatively and being innovative, and it's about uh, framing and reframing, putting things in different languages, uh, uh, creating uh, creating space for people to add their bits rather than being in set um, position. And therefore, that does model a new kind of democracy. It's about being inclusive in a process. It's about that willingness to work towards um, uh, uh, coming to some kind of consensus. It's about joint problem solving. It's about sharing effort uh, to search for common ground, which begins to build uh, bonds and bridges across divides in a conflict. It's about trying to turn one, the, the disparate positions into advancing a common interest, um, something that only the Women's Coalition put, at the, put on as we neared the end of the talks in terms of selling the agreement from a collective platform, we actually couldn't get the parties to that stage, but I'm very proud that in fact we did do that. And it's not something that we have yet resolved uh, or are, are our politicians leading on in terms of a shared future, in terms of a common interest. So it's, it's, still, it's still a difficult issue. It's about um, modeling a democracy that can see people's interests, but actually work not from those interests, but from their specific needs and offering solutions that respond.